story mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend, such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. Of the better Jesse. <laughs> and now Jesse is trapped underground forever. One more ungrateful loser buried away. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> to fortify these tunnels into town. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. I guess. She still scared me, though. She already helped us a lot. The portal buying us time to get up here. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the Admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that Heckmouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Yes, things look impossible, and they might be. But I believe in all of us. Look how far we've come. Look at all the impossible we've already done. We can do this. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! Mine, that was loud. Hey. Here we go.
What do you guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Guys, admin! And he's with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. <sighs> Typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And boom! <laughs> City, and now, one less thing to worry about. My... my friends and... my people? They're... gone. Psst, Olivia. Axel. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I just knew it. <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh. Jesse, I... what is... Come on, I'll explain everything, but we have to get off the streets. To the map shop, quick. I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath a bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside, Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... Look, the admin is good, but he's not good enough to have everyone fooled, right? It's a pretty good Jesse impression. I mean, a totally evil version, but... yeah. But... you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra! Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but... nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city... Gone. In an instant. It's insane. Nobody should have that much power. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for.
so glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. It's safer than being out in the open. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. You okay there, Jack? Uh, fine, I guess. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. Everything ransacked. I don't know if it was the admin, looters, what I... Uh... I promise, Jack, we're gonna get everything back once we defeat the admin. Yeah, you're right. Probably just fixating on this to distract myself. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Might be something useful in here yet. Uh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. Binta, adjusting okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Champion City has me a little more worried than I'd like, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. Looters were thorough. There's nothing here. Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? What brought you both back to Beacon Town? Yeah, we, uh, we heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... he's just been... missing. Kinda went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything? About... a terminal, maybe? No, the guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. We'll be here. Keeping an eye out. <laughs> Doing okay, Luna? <clears throat> yeah, I know it's scary. We're gonna get through it, though. Poor llama. <clears throat> Jack! By the tides, I'd almost forgotten about that stash. Are these... Elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah. Got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What? 
was that? Out of my sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah! Ah! Ivor, what on earth were you just doing, hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor. Founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone! That is a legend, standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach! And my shop is a complete wreck! Oh, this is so totally embarrassing! Hey, you're pretty legendary yourself, Jack. Just play it cool around him. Right, right, cool. Cool. I, I, I can do cool. Ivor, right? Sup? Yes! I am Ivor! And you are? They call me... The... S <coughs> the Stab Walker. Yeah, that's a nickname. Yes! Hi! Hello, strange stab person. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. He fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about you rotting away in prison forever? Big success! And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult, and took many, many days of intense mental activity. And a very large hole in the side of the Sunshine Institute. <laughs> Which I'm sure no one will notice. Hey. Hey. Well, you're a hero, Nerm. Jack should watch out. You might start stealing his glory. Nerm, the Sunshine Rock. Mm. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our... word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes. I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. I'm glad it's easy to find, but it's floating up in the air. Indeed! Which, ooh, poses a problem, perhaps? Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, I'm talking out. You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. Well, that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We never get backstage without fireworks guild uniforms, so we find Stella and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up and boom! Backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? We 
you're going to be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. And the second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. And the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows what to do. See? Piece of cake. That uh, might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Champion City was torn down. We all saw it. Stella's been hurt by the admin, too. There has to be a way to get through to her. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. Well, Stella does know where the Fireworks Guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin! You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Jesse, I know you think Stella's just another victim of the admin, but be careful, okay? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Time to find Stella. just keeps getting weirder and weirder. <gasps> there! Oh, and there? What the? destroy his home what did champion city do to you destroying homes left and right absolutely no regard for people's lives what kind of leader is that you dare question me oh no 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 very sorry praise me jesse oh i need this to end once and for all I did it, Jesse. I did what you asked. Now there are pork chops for everyone. Would you like to taste one? I made it myself. They're fresh. I promise. No, how could you? No, no more pork chops. No more. But, but, but you, but it was, I was, okay. I'm so sorry. Hope that didn't get this guy in trouble.
<laughs> Yo, Jesse, dude. Just unveiled the new statue you built. <laughs> yeah. It's got, um, character? Yeah, I kind of liked the old one, but... Whoa! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. <laughs> Sha! Kind of feels like it's, like, following me sometimes, though, you know? Like I see it out of the corner of my eye? You know what? I change my mind. Let's bring the old one back, shall we? Dude! I can't wait to see it again! Not that, you know, this one wasn't... Like, go with your gut, dude! Especially if it wants the old one back. Sha! Righteous! Thanks, Jesse, dude! You there, Nelly, what happened to my statue? The, the one you just tore down because your gut told you to? What? What are you talking about? What is she talking about? Like two seconds ago, you, you, you were... You want to blame your insolence on me? Golems, take her away! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm yourself, dude. Like, take some deep breaths, okay? <sighs> Oh, no. Nell. It's not my fault. I I'm understaffed. Then hire more people. Force them. Conscript them. I don't care. Jesse Khan will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen, or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo. That's our ticket in. It's now or never. Perfect. Now we can... Oh, Gravel, where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse! Back so soon! <laughs> Since when do you... Hmm. You're not the admin, are you? Hmm? 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 <laughs> No use hiding the truth. I am not the admin. For I am actually the real bona fide. Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? I am so glad you're back. Pretending to be the other Jesse's loyal servant has been exhausting. Wait, why am I just finding out now you're back? Don't you trust me, Jesse? I thought you'd move past your competitive nature with me. I am part of your core gang. I hate being left out of the loop like this. Surely you have a reason I'm not seeing. I wanted to, but it wasn't safe to contact you with you being so close to the admin. Oh, you were protecting me. We are such best friends. Look, Stella, I need these uniforms to defeat the admin. I don't have time to explain all the- No problemo, friendo. Carry on with your top secret mission. I won't spill anything to the admin. I happen to be an excellent actor. I shall get into character. Let's just, uh, separate, okay? Roger that. Exeunt stage left! Jesse, 
I've got my best friends, Olivia and Axel, with me, don't I? <sighs> Who are you? Yes, thanks, Jesse. We love being your best friend. Don't we, Axel? Oh, yeah, totally. The resemblance is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Binta? The admin. He's right there. Right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused. Killing Fred. Inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly. Seeing that smile somehow makes it even more unbearable. He's right there, Jesse. Right there! It'd be useless. There aren't any weapons that can even touch him right now. Our only hope is getting that word of passage up to the tower. <sighs> You're right. Attacking him now would only doom us all. And as Jesse, your Jesse, I'm glad we Let's go to work. Of course it was mandatory, but I sensed that you wanted to come anyway. So thank you for understanding just how important I am to you. No one permitted back here except... Fireworks, you mean, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. What the? There's no fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? That's like planning a birthday party without... You know. <sighs> Why can't it ever be easy? <laughs> Please, when has it ever been easy? Easy or not, I can't help but notice that we still don't have any fireworks. I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then, all we need is gunpowder and a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Okay, at least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? If I recall correctly, this one will give me a super cool orange ball-shaped firework. <clears throat> Ivor? Shh! I'm in stealth mode. Completely undetectable to the human eye. How? Invisibility potions. You'll have to take my word for it. They're fantastic. And, um, apparently long-lasting. Wait, you had invisibility potions this whole time? Yes, but ninja law says you must wait for the most dramatic time to use them. What? Why? I don't know. I'm not a ninja lawyer. Do you have any more? More what? Invisibility potions. Uh, nope. Sadly, I drank my last one to surprise you here. But I'll be watching you. From the shadows. Ow. of Lucas's book. Whoever owns this chest must be a fan. This isn't stupid. 
stupid. Gunpowder, perfect. Ooh, sugar cane. Hey, you hearing this, doof? Which proves I'm the greatest thing ever to happen in all your lives. Let's look at the mathematical proof. What a self-absorbed... Ugh. Only for a little while longer. Yeah, we'll get Beacon Town back. I can feel it. Okay, once I've got a bucket, that'll be the perfect spot to fill her up. How are those fireworks coming? Oh, they're coming. This place is just kind of messy. Well, just be like the noble light of truth and shine through the darkness of the mess. Only then will you scatter the shadows and reveal your goal. Yeah, I'll work on that. Good to hear, friend. I'll keep on keeping an eye out. Town has improved from the moment I ascended as your leader. The sky is brighter, cows are happier, pie is sweeter. I actually don't even think it's possible for you to thank me enough. Okay, let's get crafting. There's a firework. Nice. Now just need to- Hey, Glenn, I- Wait a minute. You ain't Glenn. And you ain't who- Huh. Yeah. That felt... That felt good. Really good. Maybe we can't hurt the admin yet, but we can still take out his goons. We've come too far to second-guess ourselves. And we can't let anyone get in our way. Even if it's a bystander. You can't take all your anger out on that one guard. He was just doing his job. Yeah, you're right. Technically. But his job shouldn't be pulling his sword on us. Ha! Huh, not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse, for everything. Okay, all strapped in, fireworks ready. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, Jesse, 
just need to... Oh, perfect. Just what I needed. Ah! Too slow, dummy! Come at me, ugly. Uh-oh. Whew, that was close. Okay, time to get the others. I'm glad to see that waterfall. Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. Okay, I'm not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something when we got in here. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those. But nothing. Don't be fooled, guys. If it's this quiet on our way to depower the admin, then it's gotta be a trap. Well, I'm not seeing anything trappish yet, but I'll keep an eye out. down, Ocelots. Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That's enough now. Oh, sorry. Oh man, I am so happy to see you. I can't believe how long it's been. What are you talking about? We just talked the other day, remember? Your whole speech about how if I couldn't get in line, I could just hit the road. Now, hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, Because but... the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas. So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah! Telling us our builds were ugly. Lucas, would you please stop talking for two seconds and just let me explain? Huh. And there is the new Jesse I've gotten to know lately. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is. No. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... That wasn't really you. Lucas, you know how much I care.